Hello. Today we will be looking at some uh, attributes of Kentera that will help you with reactions. If you remember in the past, we've seen some uh, methods in the solutions class that help um, with getting more information on, on species, say for example. So um, using those methods, you can uh, find out the number of elements, the number of species, the mole fraction, mass fraction of various species, etc. We will be doing something similar today um, at looking at different functions and attributes of Cantera, but with regards to reactions on how to get more information uh, about the reactions in, in, the, in the input data file that has been included in the Cantera script. So let's uh, get on with it. And um, uh, most of all, 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 actually all of this exercise will be done on the console so that we get to know what each and every line uh, of, uh, of the script is doing. So let's start with uh, importing Kentera. Okay, and then um, we define a phase. We can, again, let, let's just take GRI because that seems to be like a standard at this point. Um, and we will, again, we will go back and forth between the actual input data file and, and the information that we'll be getting out here. Okay, so now the uh, gas phase has been defined. So let's get um, some information on the number of uh, um, reactions, for example. Just, just hold on one second. Let me uh, first bring up the input data file itself. Okay, so this is uh, this is GRI 30. And this is the reaction section. So if you see, this is where the equations of the reaction start. The first equation is 2O plus M gives O2 plus M, and M is the third body as we've seen in the uh, previous lectures. Um, and so, so these are all the different equations. Now, let's try some things in the um, in the Cantera script, or, or rather, in the Cantera software. So, if we were to find out uh, the number of equations or the number of reactions, rather, um, in GRI, we we can write gas. So, this is again these are methods for the solution class, and gas being an object of the solutions class. We can use these methods with the gas object. You can say gas dot n reactions. So it says 325. That means that the total reactions in this list, and let me bring that, uh, bring GRI 3.0 again. So these lists, these reactions, right from here all the way, keep scrolling down and down and down. Uh, all of these reactions are 325 in number. That was, uh, that, I mean, instead of counting the reactions individually, this is a really neat and a very, very easy way to find out. Now, if uh, I were to look at the reactions themselves, one way obviously is to uh, open the input data file and, and take a look at the reactions. But what we can also do is we can use the uh, uh, function reactions. If we enter this, oh, so it brings up all of the reactions that are in the GRI input data file. If you want to look at uh, some specific reaction, then we can supply that uh, the reaction index for I mean, to the to this uh, to this function, the so gas dot reactions, and we just mention say zero if we want to look at the first reaction, and that is the first reaction that is a two O plus third body gives O2 plus third body. And if we go back and check uh, in GRI 3.0, you see this is 2O plus third body gives O2 plus third body. All right, so that's, uh, and similarly, I mean, you can change, you can keep changing the index and you will keep getting the, so this is the fifth reaction. So in, in Python, the index starts from zero. And so that is why four is, is the fifth reaction in the list. Um, now, something similar can also be done by a different function. So that function is instead of reactions, that is reaction. And now all you have to do is supply the uh, index of the reaction that you want inside the parentheses. So now if you see, it gives you the fifth reaction again. So these are, I mean, they, they perform the same function basically. Um, then 
next uh, what about the equations themselves <clears throat> so if you want like the individual equations um so let's see for example if i say gas dot reaction equations oh yeah okay so now what has happened uh, is if you go back scroll back and check so what this has done is it has stripped off all of these strings, elementary reaction, any description of the reaction has been stripped off and only the reactions have been mentioned. These are all the 325 reactions, just the reactions. None of the description has been included here. So that is what the function um, uh, reaction equations does. Now, again, if you want to look at the, a specific uh, reaction, you just say reaction equations, say looking at the fifth reaction, you, you supply four, and it'll just give you the fourth, uh, the, the, the fifth reaction. Uh, on similar lines, you also have a different function performing the same task, which is called reaction equation. And now this will only give you one single equation. So you can say four, and see again, so it, it gives you the same equation, um, but uh, it just gives you like just, just one equation instead of uh, many of them. And um, then finally, you can also look at just the reactants and the products of an equation if, you, if that is what you want um, to, to, to look at. So that will be gas dot react reactants if i supply four see uh, now only the reactants have been mentioned and if i say products so now only the products have been mentioned so these were uh, some of the uh, attributes and some of the functions in in cantera that uh, you will see are very helpful um, in writing a lot of scripts uh, when it comes to modeling reactions. So instead of uh, uh, going back to the input file again and again and looking at each individual reaction, uh, you can not just, you, you can just find out the information about reactions in Cantera, but you can also manipulate them. So for example, I can only say, I can only get out the first five equations and iterate through the five equations if I want to or I can remove some equations this way. I can remove some equations, I can add some equations. Um, so a, a lot of uh, things can be done using, using these functions. And, and we'll see in the future lectures how to uh, use these functions to our benefit. All right, thank you so much.